Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, this is Chris Abraham. It is season five, episode 31, I believe, of uh, the Chris Abraham Show. And I'm walking with my 43 pound GORUCK GR1 26 liter with 20 pound plate. So it's like 45 pounds, 43 pounds. And I'm feeling cold coffee dripping down the back of my legs because apparently. When I put in my thermos, I didn't angle it correctly. So quite possibly the entire thermos carafe perfectly hit the little button that allows the coffee to uh, dribble into my face. <clears throat> and I think I regret the purchase of this canteen and I will find a canteen that doesn't have a drinking lid it has just a regular lid, so this doesn't happen anymore. And I think I might have the perfect bottle already, but uh, sucks. So that's enough of my complaining. Um, periodically, I go on to uh, RT.com and SputnikGlobal.com, and I share uh, the counter messaging coming out of Russia. And... It's mostly to test tyranny, right? To test how much of a freak out people who should not care about the danger of ideas and words. People are not ever tyrannical, autocratic, uh, censoring monsters ever about themselves. I mean, if you talk to anybody who lane monitors you about a uh, link that you shared from RT or about uh, Ukraine <clears throat> from their point of view, uh, they never say, well, the article doesn't bother me, but what about the children? It's always about, what about the children? What about the people who are stupid and don't know that it's propaganda? What about the people who, with your share, don't understand, don't have the sophisticated brain, don't understand nuance, don't understand irony, don't understand trolling or snarking. What if you bring power to the words of the enemy? What if you do it? And then I realized that we are really in tyrannical times. It's not just Russia who's the tyrannical one. We are too. Like, we are completely... Uh, I don't think anybody, like I said the other day about lane monitors, like people who feel like it's their responsibility to, uh, not the cops, but their responsibility to enforce and discipline and positive and negative uh, feedback people based on how far outside their concept of the preferred norms and values they are. So it's never... People never do monstrosities on behalf of themselves. They're like, well, I can take it. I understand what's good and true. But what about the people? What about the people who don't know? What about the, what about the people who don't know? What about the simple-minded, small-minded people who don't understand uh, what's going on and they get confused and and then the SEO that you bring by mentioning it on social media What if that starts to influence the war and what if people start? What if all of a sudden people when they do searches for the war all of a sudden the RT and Sputnik all of a sudden start coming up as number one and That'll be terrible, but like I'm not a censoring uh, warmonger war hawk war pig on my own behalf, but what I'm caring about is the little babies and children. I care about the little mommies. I care about the people who don't have the sophistication and the the filter and the ability to understand uh, the difference between this, that, and the other thing. Ah, oh, sorry about that. Freaking getting 
a freaking wall. Why is it happening? Is it still coming out? The fuck? The fuck? Do not think it's secure. mostly completely empty all down my butt all down my my freaking legs I just bought white socks so all down my towel all down my everything and I just spilled it out because I do not need more of this and all I have to deal with now is just the refuse the leftover coffee that is going down my bottom which means I'm going to spend at least an hour I'm going to spend at least an hour outside while I have a coffee so as to let all of this dry out and I guess I'm going to empty my bag onto public space to allow that to happen faster I'm really grateful like you wouldn't believe, I'm extremely grateful that I do not take my coffee with uh, milk or sugar or any other sweetener or any other type of milk because as one knows, sweetener is sticky and milk is rotten and coffee is just dirty water. So even though my socks are completely brown, and my coyote ugly, my coyote brown bag is now coyote ugly again. Uh, and my shorts, which are black, I'm sure are sopped up like a baby diaper. And I know that throwing out the rest of the coffee from the thermos was the right thing to do because there's no more coffee dripping down my behind. And even though it looks like a nightmare, what's happened in the back of my calves, um, I always consider things like this, instead of being embarrassing, I consider them charming, disarming conversation starters. So anyway, back to the whole thing. Um, I used to make fun of German people because German people are fucking amusing. And I know they hate to hear that, but they, when I was there in 2008, like it was pretty normal for men to pee sitting down. It's pretty normal for men to pee sitting down. And they have all these rationalizations like, you know, there's less splattering, there's less muss and fuss. It's more, um, I don't know, it's more uh, genteel. It's more good for the greater good. But there's also, like, I jaywalk and I give fucks about stoplights. And, but in Germany, it's not just the cops that pull you over or chastise you. You are literally chastised by everybody if you, if you behave wrongly. And they always say that the reason why you are being chastised for being, like, you know, if you cross against the light or if you jaywalk or if you do anything they shake their fist at you when you're just out there alone with them but they really gang up on you you can totally see how Nazi Germany happened like they totally gang up on you if you do anything lawlessly in front of the eyes of babes like if there's children there or in uh, toddlers or young boys and girls, or boys and girls in prams, or, you know, young teenagers, people in middle school, they literally will, they will lynch you over the fact that you are performing uh, anti, anti-establishment, uh, chaotic acts of crime 
so as to influence the 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 growing brain, the the easily influenced towards chaos and disrepute brain of their little ch German children. And I played along because I'm a chameleon, but I could give fuck. I could give any fucks about anybody else's children. You know, fuck you. Like it's my life, and I can take a risk crossing against the uh, the light or riding through the lights or whatever. And it's my freedom to make decisions that could result in, in my death, right? But there is a strong white blood cell contingent in Berlin that goes out of its way to enact uh, uh, civilian justice to... To in a, in a in a country that is very ice, uh, very unwilling to be kind of chatty in a public sphere, and like they just keep their own friends and their own family, and they're very quiet and introverted. Is man, if you even look at the road in a way that it looks like you're going to jaywalk or go against the light, and there's a kid there, you can start seeing them prepare. You can see them start to prepare for war. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.